Welcome on in, Dragon Folk, to another episode of Free to Play DDO. So here today we have the quest Mired in Kobolds. You'll see that we are level 13 now. And at level 13, we uh, really didn't get anything. But lucky for me, I did bank a bunch of experience. So we'll actually be level 14 probably by the end of this quest. But I guess that depends on how much experience it gives us a normal, am I right? So, <laughs> so for today's thing, we have Mired and Kobolds. There's another free-to-play quest. Uh, you actually come out here to the 12, which is right by, you can find it in the southwest of the marketplace. Uh, it's going to be right over there. And then you'll come in here, and then you will talk to the Smiley Smythe. He's got a quest for Kobolds. So, I've never done this one, so hopefully it is uh, pretty straightforward and easy. Looks like it's just a bunch of kobolds as far as I can tell, but who really knows, am I right? So, we're going to hope for the best, go from there, discover the secret to the kobold's power. Alright, so I'm imagining we're doing something. We've got our, we've got our, what is that, a human? Yeah, our human cleric, uh, Dara Giles. Dara, listen. You and I have become good friends, okay? Don't let me down. Gotta have a pep talk with your hirelings before you send them out, you know what I mean? The kobold village ahead is a buzz with motion. You will have to face a great many kobolds. Okay, so I could kill them. Oh, okay, they're going to be coming up this way. That doesn't seem so bad. I mean, killing kobolds is like a pastime for anybody who's ever played DDO, so... Can't exactly say it's going to be difficult. 3k, so we're probably not going to level from this. The experience seems very, very bad. But, who knows? Maybe it betters itself later? I see things I can destroy. Let's see what a ransack... On normal, what ransack and... Uh, and... Conquest get me. If I can even get ransack. I'm not gonna... I gotta put all my eggs in a basket. I'm not certain I'll get ransacked, to be honest. In an open area like this, it's kind of hard to find the destructibles. But, give it a shot. So, Call of the Kobold numbers 19 left. So, I wonder if you can do this without killing kobolds. Not bad. See, playing a ranger has its perks here. Desperate to block your path, the kobold magi draw power from a large crystal. Oh, this one is. It's interesting. Stable Power Crystal. I guess I can destroy this? Ah. Okay, oh, I guess that leaves you stunned. Oh, I could blow up these barrels, too. That's interesting. I mean, obviously, I could blow them up. They're explosive barrels, but... Okay. Oh, there's a kobold over here. How long were you over there? Hiding away. Oh, this is like a bramble patch. You don't want to be in that. Got it. Okay. Uh-oh. Let's 
seems like there's a bunch of spicy crystals going around now. So... What was that? Did you see that? Something fall behind me? No? Am I crazy? Okay, I'm crazy. That's nice. Cobalt Tribe Decimate. I think if I kill, the, if I destroy those crystals, some electricity goes off and kills a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to do that as much as possible. It seems like it's a pretty, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to make it seem like it's like a super easy quest, but. It is pretty straightforward in the fact that they kind of just want you to kill kobolds. No chests so far. Are these kobolds hiding in the bramble? That's interesting. Well, it's not bad. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh, the free-to-play content that we've got going on here for you. I know it's... Uh... I know uh, there's so much content to be had and to be played in this game. Arrow or spell? Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. This is kind of neat. Bam. Alright, well that's neat. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the, you know, the free-to-play content we've got here for you. I know, uh... There is a lot of content in the game to be played. And a lot of people are, you know, obviously, if you have the certain adventure packs, you're probably not playing a bunch of these packs anymore. Or playing these, uh... You're probably not playing these, uh... What do you call it? These quests. But if you are playing them, then I at least want you to know what they are. You know, how they... How they're played, all that stuff. How did I miss you? Weird, okay. Us did just real good and... Did real good in sneaking up on everybody because apparently that was... Super easy to do. Okay. I look at these tiny stone jugs. We don't have, like, any of the breakables. Oh, hi. Okay, interesting. I guess, I guess because we killed the sentries, they didn't ring the bell. And because they didn't ring the bell, I have gold here. Kind of neat. I don't normally go for those just because, like, pile of gold is so, like... Hello. Hello! Alright, what else can I spot here? Hit him with that. Hit him with this. Okay... Oh, is that a dragon? The Young dragon glares at you haughtily from behind its magic. He is mad. Yep. All right. Wow. Well, I mean, we gotta fight him, right? Alright, 
Well, we're gonna kill the kobolds first. Also, I think that's an acid dragon, so this might heal him. And yeah, definitely pulling a lot of damage from this. Oh. I bet that's a, a key to something there. Dude, my Darren's just taking them all on by himself. Okay, I guess they stopped doing this. Oh, this is pretty straightforward as to what I need to do. Stop stepping in the bramble. But I'm too fast. Too fast for him to catch up. Even while walking backwards. And he's dead. Okay. Sinvala, Sinvala, I summon thee. Was that Sinvala? Some of these chests are thick. The air suddenly tears open. Oh. A towering magical door materializes. Something very large and very powerful is coming. Oh, do we get to like stay or? I mean, it says the quest is completed. Oh! Groth is dead, is he not? Okay, to be at the fights in Vala, I guess. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. I guess this is why they showed this to us. Dude, I wish I had better damage to put on you. Oh my gosh. Um, can I get a Rams? Can I get an Instinct? Can I get a... Which one do I do? Uh, I don't know, Force Arrows, I guess, since Acid's not working. I want extra damage. I think we'll be able to kite him. I can step in these things now. It shouldn't be so bad. I wonder what kind of what the experience is for this. Oh, disorientation. Okay. That sucks. Ow! Oh, no. That, like, 75% HP is so not bad. I didn't expect to fight a dragon in here, to be honest. I was like, yo, the damage in here sucks. Or like the, the, the experience in here sucks. So I'm not looking to I'm not looking to do anything in here. But I don't know, this, this dragon probably does a ton oh my god, really? Dragon probably does a ton of damage on uh On elite or any of that. I mean, I'm 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 lucky to be killing it on this difficulty. I'm doing nice with my saves though, so I can't really complain. 
I wish I had a better weapon to kill this thing with, but... The one time acid has not helped me. It's going against a black dragon. So Sinvala. Oops. What's he in that? I wish there weren't these freaking growth patches all over the place. Well, if you guys are not uh, feeling sick, because <laughs> I'm going to keep spinning until I kill this thing, so... This is real cool, though. I always like the dragon fights. I remember my whole thing, like, back when DDO was subscription-based only. The cool thing was is that I got to play in Giant Hold. And Giant Hold was, like, a wild thing for me. I mean, I literally was playing, like... Oh, no. Not good. Don't bite me. Um... I was uh, playing in Giant Hold. In Giant Hold, you fight a whole bunch of dragons. Like, a ton of dragons. And so it's really, really cool. Ow. Jowls, can you heal me, please? Thank you. I think we're almost there. Yep, we're at like 10% HP. We're getting there one little bit at a time. Keep on spinning. Keep on spinning. Keep on spinning. This, there's no way. This shit would kill me in a leap for sure. For sure it would. Wow. 2k for that. So I did end up leveling. That's nice. 2k. So I imagine I can just grab my stuff and get out if I really wanted to. But now I get an extra chest. Because I beat Sinvala. So that wasn't so bad. A bunch of kobolds and then two dragons. I mean, like, it was a decent amount of experience. No, no breakable bonus or anything. Yeah, based in Vala. A ridiculous amount of experience. I don't normally go through all these piles of gold, but I just like, I mean, it's usually just currency and gems that are in here. So stuff for me to sell, stuff for me to hold on to. Oh, I see there is a red shrine here. That's kind of interesting. So, I'm assuming destroying these crystals does something. Because, I mean, with there being like three crystals in here, I would think it, it breaks this barrier, maybe? Or something of the sort? So that way I can at least go back. But, okay. No, I'm assuming the extra chest for Sinvala was over there already, so probably nothing left for me to grab. Right? No? Okay. Alright, well then, that's that's it. We got a total of, well, really like 5k out of this, if you include killing Sinvala, so... Ah! It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Who needs Dennis Guards and someone like you around? Alright. Cool. Pop that in there. Okay, well that is the end of Mired and Colds. <laughs> that was real quick. Quick little like 20 minute ish video. Um, it looked like a lot of that. I did miss an area in there, so I'm assuming if I went through that way first, I'd probably um I'd probably just have more kobolds to kill, but it looked like, at the end of the day, killing, um... Killing Vareth, the Black Dragon, was the real goal, and it completes the quest, but if you want to stick around and fight Sinvala, you might be able to get some stuff there, too. I don't actually know if there is... Let me go through the wiki here real quick. What kind of stuff is there? 
Uh, apparently, you can get Black Dragon Scales or Blood of Dragons from the chest. So, Blood of Dragons... Um, let's see, what is this? Really swap spells at, the, for the, at their trainer for one hour. So... Blood of Dragons is a, a special item, and then also the uh, Black Dragon Scales, which normally you wouldn't be able to get Black Dragon Scales unless you were in Giant Hold and you did uh, the Black Dragon um, quest. Or you did the Black Dragon... Uh, yeah, the Black Dragon quest. Uh, that would be how you get Black Dragon Scales as well. Black Dragon Scales, you can bring them to Giant Hold and you can have them be crafted or something, so I'm not sure why they'd have Black Dragon Scales available to you as a free-to-play character. Because I don't think you can craft them. Maybe you can go to Giant Hold, but you can't go into any of the things, so never mind. You might be able to still get Black Dragon Scale armor, even though you don't have Giant Hold. Which is pretty cool. So, but that's, uh... Yeah. That's essentially it. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more DDO content. Um, you know, for those of you who are curious about Giant Hold, I do plan to go through it uh, once I get around to get clearing all of the um, free-to-play stuff, which is coming pretty close. Uh, we have one more level 13 quest. And then what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 more quests um, for the rest of Heroic. And then after that, you have the epic stuff. Uh, so anything past level 20 is an epic level. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of wild to me, honestly. We're almost through all of the free-to-play quests. Uh, if I haven't gotten a video or haven't gone through any of the free-to-play quests previously, I'll try to go through them when I have... Uh, when I am a higher level. That way I can just get the favor and continue through it. So, but we'll see. But anyway, that's enough of me. Thank you so much. Make sure to drink your water, eat your vegetables, and don't be a dick. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Alright. Nerd out.